to Regenstadt there was a very special experience, uh, an opera for children, Brundebar, that even in the darkest of places brought life and hope and music and helped people survive. The Brundebar project came about over the past year where we decided to put this on and to have an evening where we could also publicize it. Doctor came and the day was cold. He wore big glasses, he was old. He sat down next to mommy's bed with his cold hands, he touched her head. Our goal is to tell the story of Theresienstadt and this event is doing a fantastic job because of the publicity, because of the recognition of more and more organizations like the U.S. Embassy and all the people that are coming to uh, this event. Every now we have a, a wonderful opportunity to show this show about the uh, wonderful uh, stories from Kreisestadt. It's a, an honor and a privilege for the U.S. Embassy to partner with the American International School, Beit Terezin, the Embassy of the Czech Republic and many others who have worked together to put the 70th commemoration performance together of Brundebar, the children's opera, from the Holocaust. We're very blessed to have one of the survivors uh, of, of Theresienstadt who experienced the Brundebar opera, Ella Weisberg, uh, who's here, who lives in the United States, uh, with us tonight, as well as other survivors. So this is a, 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 one of the great honors uh, that Julie and I have had, uh, and Julie's been one of the great leaders of this project. Uh, to uh, uh, to participate in since we've been in Israel.